What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Um, hit that little button on the, I think it's on the right hand side of the screen. But uh, today we're going to be working on a 09 G6. Um, it has a code that I think it's for the airbag. So let's see. I'm gonna grab my scanner here. That's a good day. Nice. Anyways, um, I put a new seat in. Ever since I put in the new seat, I had issues with the the codes. I guess there's like a sensor right here underneath the pad. Whenever somebody sits down, I guess it registers. Here, I think you know what? I'll bring you guys along over here, and I'll you guys can see the airbag code that it has. The game ignition here. B0081-71 and it says passenger presence module and valid data. Um, I I think it's the pigtail, pretty much the wiring harness that goes to the sensor. So I'm going to rewire it. Um, I'm not, I probably, uh, you know what, I'm going to solder it but I'm going to be real careful because I don't want this thing to blow out. <laughs> I don't, you know, when you're when you're working with the anything that has to do with the airbag or anything electrical, you kind of you want to unplug the battery and then um, do whatever you're gonna do and then plug the battery back in. That way you don't have any electrical issues. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna be real careful when I take. I think it's a connector. Let me show you which connector. Okie dokie. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see. Ah, there it is. That this one right there. I'm gonna plug it here. These right here. They're they're not making good contact, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut these out these wires and then solder them to this to the back here so I'm gonna cut these two off and solder them together that way I don't have any issues at all and this harness actually just goes straight back up here and it connects to the sensor that's like there's a module let's see if I can show it to you guys Oh, you know what? There's one in the back. Let me show you. I, had, I took the old one out because the old one was bad. Ah, there it is. See? This module. Right here. See, it sits just like that. Right there. And the connector goes down below. So, that's it. Now the best thing to do would be to um, just unbolt the, the seat. I think it's got two bolts in the back. Right there. I'm going to use the, the 50. Let's see if that's it. And the, the reason you get the 8 millimeters is because the star will go right into it. Screw 
move the seat all the way up. out see they're star shaped and you just grab the seat there we go it's oops. and you just slide it back all right perfect This is the wire I was talking about. See? This one. So it goes here, it comes right here, connects to this one. You know, it's probably best if you just do one at a time so you don't lose which wire goes to what. So one, two, four. There's a cap in the center. You know what? I'm gonna try to pop this blue cap out of them. So I just popped it from the side, popped right out. And there they are. And I think if I push these little black tabs down, well, I'll be able to pull them out from the back. Push it down, like so. And then it popped right out. Alright. What I could do, instead of cutting them, I could just unplug them and then do the same to this one. And then actually plug them in each individually and plug in it plug them in to each other and uh, heat wrap them. should probably put a little before I heat wrap them I should put a little bit of solder inside so that it connects them together and they're soldered together and there's no way that uh, they'll come loose hmm. <sighs> decisions decisions So I could just cut the wire, boom, boom, and then solder it. I probably should. That way it deletes any of these. And usually, sometimes uh, the wire will get cut right here, right where the metal and the wire meet. So uh, I'm just gonna cut it. anything happening here and I don't know where my wire cutters are or wire strippers I should say so I'll just use my tape old school anyways okie dokie Again, if I put it in. 
Okay, now we just twist the wires on each other. Nice and flat. Perfect. Punch. And then we use solder. And solder that on. So there's one or two uh, tape, electrical tape, and shrink wrap. Yeah, you can definitely tell which one's best. All right, now I'm just gonna do this to the rest of them. Okay. So, and you know what? I think it was the top row. I don't even think it was the bottom row that was not making good contact. So, let's see if that works. Nope, still on there. Uh, okay. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to do the bottom one as well. Okay, so the bottom row only has three. One, which is a blue, green, and a pink. And blue, green, and a pink. With the black stripe. So the pink's got the black stripe on it. Alrighty, so let's do the bottom ones. It's probably be, it'll probably be easier if you had a pick instead of a screwdriver. I have a pick, but I'm too weak to go get it. So I will struggle. So let's check this one more time, again. Should still be logged. That's for sure. Excuse me. Okay. Race. Should work. Alright, guys. Okay. So I. Uh, I had soldered it all together, I taped it up, um, and then, I, like I showed you guys, I, it wouldn't, uh, the code wouldn't go away. So, I take all the tape off, um, and the shrink wrap, and I looked around at some of the wires, and some of them, um, and I checked it with the multimeter as well to see if um, it was getting continuity throughout the wire. And um, I found, um, two wires that weren't making that great of a contact it was basically from connector from the actual sensor the module passenger module sensor pretty much like from there to where I was soldering there was two wires that weren't making that good contact so I kind of you know I cut it up further towards the module itself to see if I can you know cut out the piece that was bad I'm guessing from the seat moving back and forth so much, it act, um, the wire inside the sheath kind of, you know, it got brittle and it cracked and, you know, um, it just wasn't making good contact. So, once I fixed those two wires, I turned off, you know, I, I turned the car off because 
the battery ended up dying, so I had to jump it. <laughs> and I think it's because this car has automatic lights, so make sure that you guys um, you turned off those lights. Anyways, and I'll show you guys where I'm at now. Okay, so here we go. Put it in. So I just fixed those two wires. It, you know, when it comes to that stuff, it's usually electrical. Electrical um, is always a pain in the butt. But yeah, yeah, that's what was wrong with mine. It was something electrical. Usually, when you can wig the, wiggle the wires and you're checking it with a scanner, and uh, it'll tell you whether. Okay, so no codes, you know, the EVAP's still not ready, I don't care. So we're gonna go to SRS, and um, like I said, it was just two wires. I just fixed them, soldered them, and put them back. That makes no sense. Alright, let's turn it on. Lights are still off. Check it one more time. Maybe it's just acting weird, I don't know. Yeah, see? Codes are gone. Man. Gremlins. That's what it is. I'm gonna blame it on the gremlins. Check it one more time. Okay, nothing here. Disconnect. Connect. One more time. I hope it's gone for good. Now my SVC tire monitor is still on, but I don't care about that. Okay, as you can see, the airbag light is gone, so I'm not sure. It's just, uh, it went away, so cool. But yeah, gremlins and electrical wiring, they do not mix. But, uh, okay, my car's done. Hopefully you guys, uh, this can help you guys out. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, just let me know. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing, guys.